4 B D 1 T Uzuzu motor part 2 I've removed the bell housing from the back of the motor and transferred it over to my workbench. This is the S10 I plan on putting the motor into. This is the flywheel housing I plan on using. I bolted the Isuzu flex plate to a Chevrolet flywheel. This is the transmission I plan on using, a 1990 S10 5-speed from a 4.3 liter engine. Bell housing removed, sitting on my flat place of steel. I'm taking a marker and going around the outline of the of the bell housing, marking the holes with my pen and doing a rough outline of the hole that has to be in the bell housing. Also just a rough hole of the starter housing. I've transferred that over to my steel plate and I have a rough idea of what size the bell housing has to be. My next process is to flop the bell housing over, paint it a bright color, I've chosen red, and do a transfer with a piece of cardboard. Now I've taken a piece of cardboard and I've used a hammer to tap around the edges to cut out my bell housing holes so they're reasonably accurate. So I just take the hammer and I tap on the edge. It's the same process as you use to make an old gasket. That process, tapped around, and now I have a cardboard template outlined in paint and the holes are punched through with the hammer. Now I can transfer my out over to a plate of steel. I've marked the dowel holes which didn't come through very well. The dowel holes help locate the bell housing on the motor. You have one on the right side, one on the left side. I also took the bell housing over and I actually used a hammer to cut a hole around the crankshaft. So now I have my cardboard template all laid out. I've also laid out the starter holes and the center for the starter. So now I'll lay it out on my plate of steel. I'll cut the holes and the next process is to take, once that plate is made around here, I will take my bell housing from my Chevrolet and lay it out on top and then I'll have a reasonable idea of where everything has. The important holes right now, of course, are getting the bell housing holes and the dowel holes in the right place. The crankshaft hole at this point is not that important. It will be uh, an issue in the future when I transfer the Chevrolet bell housing over to the Zuzu pattern. Any comments or suggestions, please send them.